Tonight, a multi-million dollar bookkeeping blunder just days before the start of the new school year as Portland Public Schools reveal it nearly lost $3 million to a fraudulent banking scam. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Dan Tilkin. Today, district officials revealed they were able to get all of the money back. But how this happened, that's still under investigation. Our Emily Burris is live outside the district office now with more. What have you found out, Emily? Well, Jennifer Dan, I called, I emailed. District officials would not go on camera for an interview with me today, but they did give us that update that all $2.9 million has now been recovered and returned to Portland Public Schools accounts. Uh, the superintendent, uh, Guadalupe Guerrero, said on Friday that the district was made aware of a fraudulent transaction through their bank, Wells Fargo. They say money was transferred to a fraudulent account that was disguised as the account of a legitimate PPS construction contractor. Guerrero says once the mistake was realized, they immediately began working with their bank, with Portland police, and with the FBI to try and fix the mistake. Now, they're not saying much about exactly how this happened, but cybersecurity experts tell me it likely started as some kind of phishing scam that is very common, and scammers can go to great lengths to find out just enough information about your company to make things seem pretty legit. There are the more sophisticated uh, scams, which are really just fraud using computers, where a, a criminal organization might do a bit of research and send you an email that look like, looks like it's coming from your boss to an accounting department, saying, hey, can you very quickly uh, perform a wire transfer for us? We forgot to pay our bill. And so someone in a hurry in the middle of the day or the middle of the week um, might then fall for that when it looks like it's coming from your boss. In a statement to parents and students, Guerrero says, quote, all district payment procedures and internal controls are being reviewed. Additional protocols and actions have already been identified. And all district finance staff will receive mandatory updated training this week to reinforce protocols and to ensure updated procedures are in place to prevent incidents like this from occurring. Now, they say they're going to be following up with their own internal review. After that, they will have an outside investigation that includes some cyber security experts. We know that two employees who are involved in the payment approval procedures here have been put uh, on leave at pending the investigation. That is standard procedure. Officials say they want to make sure that they review this thoroughly. They don't think that anyone within Portland Public Schools had anything to do with this crime. They believe it to be all external, but they're giving this a thorough review so that they can learn from this and hopefully educate people in the future. We're live in Portland. Emily Burris, Coin 6 News. Yes.